How you doing, folks? Welcome back. Welcome back to the crypt. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Oh, Patty, what's up? Mary Jane, and you were second. <laughs> All right, so tonight I have a little bit of uh, Red. I saw Red made uh, a couple of videos yesterday. G Man made a response. If I have time, I I might cover that. And um, I have some old receipts that I want to share with some of these newer receipts, you know, because I want to make sure that everyone knows what is up with these people. And I hate to say I told you so, but uh, I kind of did. Uh, my video that I made two days ago, I said the word Stockholm and Rev says Stockholm today. And I was warning people about people that make up stuff and he calls it for views and clicks. And this is the type of stuff that they will use against us. You know what I mean? You're missing the day, but uh, hey, what's up, Courtney? Hey, Sammy. Hey, Miss Mother and Penny. Hello, what's up? And Patty, what's up? I'm going to watch The Curse of Oak Island. Oh, okay. That's cool. All right. So let me, uh, while I'm waiting for people to come in, let me, uh, let me uh, get this going and I'll show some, uh, some receipts and some other stuff. So let's get that started before we get into the main event. But thank you all for being here. Uh, please like and subscribe. Howdy, folks. Oh, 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 howdy, folks. Oh, 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 oh. I just want to thank each and every single non-human that called including his girlfriend this wonderful I mean, and i mean that actually they're really good people because they, they what they do is they protect kids man like like i saw when i was driving my son to school before COVID. oh when, when you hit when you ran into that car <laughs> is that what you're talking about rev uh folks just um like i said uh, i'm gonna play the uh, uh videos next that i might save some of these other receipts this way when you hear rev uh say some bull crap i have it for these videos to show otherwise because that i think paints a clear picture the westminster pd would be right down the street man you know watching the kids that's really awesome you know i like that um <laughs> hey huh. my fist oh i'll check it out we hey, had a nice up. officer come and knock on our door so your wellness check i'm sure that's what it was are you doing okay could i see the kids i didn't answer the door i'm not answering the door for cops anymore Oh, okay. So, uh, hold on. Let me just rewind that in case anyone really didn't hear what you just said. So, remember, um, in, the, in the video I'm about to show that they they always say that they were swatted. Well, right here, he's saying that, no, they were never swatted. It was a welfare check, and he refused to answer. So, but I'm going to play that again. Door. I'm not answering the door for the check. I'm sure that's what it was. Are you? We had a nice officer come. Ah, uh, I'm sure that's a welfare check. So the whole swanning thing is a lie, in case you guys, of course, didn't know. Well, now you do. So here he goes, admitting it. Come and knock on our door. So your wellness check, I'm sure that's what it was. Are you doing okay? Could I see the kids? I didn't answer the door. I'm not answering the door for cops anymore. I'm just not doing it. I don't dislike cops. Uh and just for everyone out there, this is what he also did for, and Shani especially, for the police for CPS, for any kind of healthcare worker, uh, for them, for the, that was um, court obligated. This is just how they live. That's why that one video, uh, the video that I had that kind of blew up, was like five hours long, where Shani just refused to answer the door. They do not answer the door for police or anybody for that matter. Uh, the good ones, I don't dislike them at all. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, against cops at all. It, what's happening with with uh blacks is horrible and it needs to stop yeah right? they, uh, some <laughs> of them are racist i think i believe that but um yeah we got our <laughs> knock and uh he just he just drove away because he knows nothing's going on here there's no there's no bad stuff going on we have fight uh bull crap bull crap what folks what police officer just drives away you know i'm sure that there was other things going on and I, I'm, I'm sure they probably hung around a little while and then left. It wasn't like the other situation last time where Rev decided to leave immediately after the cops showed up, which got him to get pulled over. And basically uh, a warning from the cops with a bunch of literature on domestic abuse. I mean, I think they were trying. Remember, folks, cops cannot give you advice. So 
for them just to even give Rev some literature, I think that was just to help him. Maybe they were they thought he was smart enough to come to his own conclusions, but you know they were wrong about that, obviously. But uh, yeah, let's let's continue with this. That stuff going on. We have fights as 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 uh, husband and wife sometimes. But but this last thing you have to understand, it was mainly performance art. Like I don't understand what you guys don't get. <laughs> performance uh, art. Mikado folks. does it with Orlin, and uh, they put it on their Patreon. You know because uh, YouTube doesn't like this type of stuff because it. Kind of All right. Well, I also have a video right after this to, to show their performance art, and then we'll get into Rev's video. But thank you all for being here. Kind of seems like domestic violence. I hope uh, I hope the positivity and the Shani effect, Shani effect has um showered over all of you where you guys are living a way better life because you don't want to live like this let's turn this negative into a positive folks and i can with all your help but it's not it's just trolling it's it's <laughs> you know because <laughs> you guys like to say i have a split lip is it's, it's you like do that again. you do what what do you call that Matthew? allegedly minecraft come on look at that look at that and folks i mean yeah sure he could have burned it on a pipe, allegedly. But you know, you know what I think happened to him. <laughs> yep, yep. She got slappy with him, and it was all... <laughs> and it never healed. That lip is still split to this day. Man's got to get some chapstick. I got to figure that out. I got to have a doctor look at it. They'll probably tell me I got cancer. I got to cut my lip off. Whatever. Oh, lovely, Rev. Whatever. Hey, no, Don't smoke, kids. Up. Don't start. And you know, and you so, brothers. I love you guys so much, especially the, the Uber trolls. Oh man, I love you, man. Do you know how much I love you? The Uber trolls, yeah. Whatever, whatever that means. So, let's see. What, what's the best way to, to go about, to go about all these? great and amazing great content videos that rev has has blessed us with throughout the years well i have my own um i have my own videos that i've kept and and screenshot because e even i have had videos that try to go back and they were gone the next day so rev um is going to talk about the performance are and this and that and this and that well it was more than performance art, folks. So I have this one other video before I get into uh, Rev's videos. Really paints the picture on what was happening during their trip down from Colorado to Pennsylvania. And trigger... Okay. Please, trigger warning, folks. Honey, you need to get back on the highway. I wanted to check on him. Is he, can we, see can him? we go park somewhere so we're not like in the middle of traffic? Can you fucking use your fucking head and get And this was because their cat wasn't in a cat. A Gavin wasn't in a cat carrier, for people who don't know. And just in a box. And the younger autistic son had him. And uh, he jumped off of him because that's what cats do. Especially when you're in a car filled with stuff. I mean, this was this was like an accident waiting it to happen. I mean, really, thank God that that tire blew because who knows? I mean, Rev could have gotten into a serious accident. I'm sure not everyone was wearing, even wearing their seatbelt. Get off the side of the goddamn road and go down and park somewhere smart. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> He's okay. I can get back to him. Get the cat on your lap, you fucking idiot. And yes, uh, the, right there, that was uh, an autistic child that he was talking to. All right, let me just uh, do the part two of that one because, you know, there, there's a, another one that goes with that. And again, trigger warning, because this is this is where I lost all kinds of respect for Rev at being as a father figure, step parent, boyfriend, whatever you want to call him. And yes, he just mocked an uh, autistic uh, child right there. He's on that floor again. You are getting your ass beat. And he just threatened him. So, yeah. Good on Rev being a piece of shit. Do you hear me? What? Is this a piece of shit. Jason William Egros. Stop this. 
No, I won't. You're not a mother. No. You don't say anything. I'm so fucking sick of it. I literally was saying something. I'm sick of it. Yeah, so there there you go with that. That's their performance art. That's what they want to claim is uh performance art. But here, let me, let's get to Rev, and then I have some other receipts on the way. But thanks for being here. Please like, please subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Man, don't he look happy. <laughs> How you doing, Rev, here? Um, and I wanted to, uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you guys. Um, that helped. I, I appreciate you a lot. Um and uh, if I get like 20 more, I could put some gas in the car and that'd be really good. He's never satisfied. He's always got to keep, hey, Mama I always keep like five gallons in the thing or it starts stalling out. It's weird. Um, but this video is a very specific message hey, that Roxy. I want known to everybody that knows uh, me and Shani. Okay. Yeah. Hey, lovely. Um, People find it, and I, I'm sure it's it's trolls, but it doesn't matter if it's trolls because um, when enough people say something, then it becomes, well, uh, maybe it's true because it isn't being addressed. So there's this, this craziness with a lot of people <clears throat> that like to, um, the, it's like this hashtag run rep run thing. We got to, man. I told him to run. Uh, where it's made this weird scenario where I'm like a hostage in a hostage situation or some craziness. And, and I, I I think I believe I know where this is coming from. And it's it's because of the, the past uh, domestic stuff that happened. But even in that <laughs> case, what, what happened there was not right and justified, you know. Uh, well, yeah, if you mean that she shouldn't have put your hands on you guys, I, I agree. It was not right or justified, especially because in that one instance, you, you, you just wanted a friggin' Baja blast. You were trying to get away from her. Well, you know, why was that? You know, what, the fact that she was trying to get you arrested that night and you had nothing, you weren't, you didn't do anything wrong that time, Rev. Why does that not bother you, man? And like, you know, and a lot of other people have been saying you're, you're a public figure, man. You, you show yourself out there. You, you uh, tell people your personal problems. Everyone knows everything about you that you don't wash your clothes every day. You hardly wash yourself and wipe Shani's butt and everything. If you put your name in on the internet, all this stuff comes up about child abuse. That's all her, man. If you never met Shani, I mean, yeah, sure you did those things, but if you never met Shani, none of this would have happened. I mean, you got to understand that, Rev, that she is as much of a problem in your life as what you call the trolls. The trolls who I've seen have given you money, uh, taken care of you guys, told Shani that her parents were in hospice care. I mean, really, with, with trolls like that, who needs enemies? We were, we just had a fight and it was, it was, oh, it that was neck. not, a, a, you know, this thing that should have blown up into what uh, the police made it to be. Because Boulder police is ridiculous. They're ridiculous. But there's this whole meme of, oh, Rev, you need to run. And, oh, we need to save Rev. And it's like, and and I guess G-Man is like, oh, you know, I'm going to get you away from Shanny and stuff. You, you guys, it's ridiculous. Do you know what this does to her? Who cares? And, and this is coming from the guy that is with her, okay? I'm with her all all the time. I, 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 I take care of stuff, you know? Yeah, you do everything, it seems like. I will never understand this, folks. A, a, a mother, I can't even call her that, a person who had children who cares more about her online reputation or getting f online famous than the welfare of them and the welfare of her, what she calls her husband boyfriend, who looks like he's mentally and physically falling apart at the seams. I mean, this, this is not normal, folks. You know what I mean? This... Yeah, let me hide me out of here for help. A hundred percent. And bless her, she tries. She does what she can do. But <laughs> I bet she does, guys. Like without without me even having to come forward and say you're thinking wrong, okay? How many times 
has there been actual police involved here and I could have gotten out of this or they would have forcefully taken me out of the situation where there was any kind of, you know, abuse or whatever taken place. Okay, so what he's saying here uh, for the people in the back that the co police have shown up probably more, more than likely quite a bit. And it's been on camera, online, and it's more than likely been offline. And he's saying, well, if it was that bad, why didn't they do anything? Well, because you guys hid stuff. Shaney lied. But uh, let's see what he says next. Like, it's ridiculous, okay? But when oh, he it's repeated up. over so many times, over and over and over again, it grates on Shani. I mean, it's ridiculous. The, the <laughs> amount of psychological... Um, torture that comes from people just making stuff up really oh because you're not you're not me and i'm telling you i'm the one living in the situation and again again i know these p i've talked to both of them one-on-one -on -one, like you know online of course like not one-on-one -on -one, like you know face to face i i don't have a strong enough gas mask for that folks folks but i i have talked to them privately and they do watch all these channels, especially the channels that they feel like gets a lot more than uh, than they should know about the situation. But they use the false parts of channels that are new to this, that don't really understand what's going on. They do use that. And they clip these videos and they use that as proof of this is why we're being harassed. And they do play it to the police. And uh, there's been times where they just let them go thinking that they are getting harassed. That's why it's always key to just, you know, don't overwhelm them with CPS. Don't overwhelm them with the police. Don't make things up. It's, you know, there's methods to these things to get a, you know, get them done right. And I know a lot of people are worried about the animals in the house. Now I'm talking about the cats, not Shani. <laughs> and because, you know, obviously it's probably not good. It's probably not the best. I probably don't even have a, you know, a cat, a cat litter box. So I understand getting them out is key animal control needs are the ones to know about that but they can't be inundated with calls and they can't go off lies and speculation so just saying that again i'm not trying to be mean about it folks i just i've been doing this for a while and you know you get more flies with the honey than you do with the other vinegar type of thing you know you have to be truthful and then when it's truthful things move along a lot easier and shani is like a rock to me she's everything is she a big fat rock? She, she's my world. Okay. So I wanted to say directly um, to the people that are saying these types of things, mm -hmm. like run, rev, run, run and, um, you know, gaslighting type stuff on Shani. Just if you actually like me, then stop it. Okay. She's my wife. <laughs> Jason, this is God. Run, Rev, run. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Jason. Now God said it. So come on. How can you refute that? You cannot. You have to listen to God. God said, run, Rev, run. And I love her with every bit of my being. Why? <clears throat> every bit of it. There's not one bit of me that doesn't just love her hey, a Jim. billion percent. Okay? Um these things that are said like this hostage situation over and over and over again and more and more people hear it because you, you're like an echo chamber of the same bullshit i i really need you to stop it because it 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 gets to shanny psychologically to see this stuff so much so i i i want it made clear that hey, i love shanny and I, this is not Stockholm syndrome or any oh, kind of weird. Where do you learn that word? I love her. She's my girl, and I want to be with her forever. So enough, enough of the innuendos and the bullshit, because that's exactly what it is. You guys know that you make stuff up to get views and clicks and super. Oh, you hear that? You hear that? He's saying you guys make things up for views and clicks and, and all that. You know, I'm telling you, you know, if, if somebody has a speculation that the cats are in a shelter, y'all, 
please say that's my speculation. Or if G-Man gave the cats to a relative, please, again, your opinion. It, it really goes a long way. And I'm, I'm, I'm just trying, you know, because hopefully a lot of these channels are doing this for the same way I'm doing it. To spread awareness, number one, and to give people what I always say is the shanty effect. As soon as I started watching them, I got the shanty effect. I wanted to be better. And I feel like if I could do that to every, mo even half of the people that watch, then I did something. I took a positive out of a negative, you know? Super chats. You, you, you make fan fictions up. Because at the end of the day, it's like you are Stan hey, fans, like Eminem Stan fans. Like really weirdness. And there's a Gavin. Hey, Gav. Yeah, I hope North Ratchet gave him a cigarette. <laughs> So that's it. I, I wanted, I've just, I, I've heard enough of it. It's, it's too much. It's, it's, it, and, and if I don't address it, then it's, it's disgusting on my part. So I felt to make this, it needed to be made. To, my position on you it. Like it's that? like, you guys. You like just... that, you fat fuck. Hey, Crash two revs. Mm -hmm. donated no. $2 through Super Chat. Wee. This group is the best. You like that? You make me feel you loved. Like... Oh, well, thank you for the $2 uh, crash. I feel loved when you guys are all here, especially you. Thank you for that. I do uh, appreciate it, especially with the holidays coming, you know. It's always a tough time of year around around Christmas time. So thank you very, very much. Uh, yeah, it's... it it, it I, want, I always wanted a chill atmosphere, you know. People can have fun and, you know, doesn't, you know, you don't have to, like... You don't have to like be like the best friends with everyone just to be able to talk. Oh, and thank you for the uh, uh, cash app. I, I just noticed. So good thing I looked at my phone while I looked at this. <laughs> um, thank you, bro. I do appreciate the uh, cash app. Well, let's get back to Rev. He, he's almost done with this one. Just stop it with that abusive shit towards Shani. Because I love her. Well, then you are a fool, sir. You are a fool. <laughs> He loves Shanny. Okay. Hey, do you guys want to see uh, Rev love, love and Shanny? You're just mean. You're just mean just to be yeah, mean. I don't care. I know you don't care. You I don't care mean. about me. You spent all my money. I do, no, I didn't. Well, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. I was literally telling you stop buying this stuff when we knew Would the money I was running out. Would I be moving around if your ass didn't come to me in, in, in fucking Pennsylvania from Minnesota when you pushed yourself into my life? Yeah, here I'm just gonna pull this this audio for a second. But like, uh, come on, is this is the performance art we keep hearing, folks? I pushed you, and yes, you did. Yeah. Jason, you always say this when we get in a fight, and then you come back and say, "I'm sorry, I said all these no, things I'm not to you." Sorry yeah, right. No, I'm not. Yeah, you're gonna say sorry again. Yeah, because you're probably gonna run at me and try and punch me and beat me like you did last. You time. literally. There you go. There you go. You are. You're gonna try to run at me beat me like you did last time <laughs> rev knows the rev knows the beat he, he doesn't want it he just you know he, she, she's gonna get sloppy again literally just tried to punch me did you see my nose guys yep did you see my eyes yep she punched the shit out of me that's yep. a lie <laughs> that's a lie and you a know lie? it is that a lie yes it is no, you it's just not a you're lie. Will you just stop this, Jason? I was asking people for money, and you turned this into this big fucking fight. And I know why. Because you're embarrassed because you haven't done anything to help your family out. Yeah, oh, don't you love that reversed, that reverse manipulation? Shani is uh, the queen of doing that, turning things around on you. She did it to her parents, she did it to her siblings, and now she does it to her kid, did it to her kids, and now she does it to, to uh, poor Rev here. So that's why Rev looks like that, folks. You're just mean. You're just mean just to be yeah, mean. I don't care. I know uh, you don't care. You I, don't care about me. Yeah, these uh oh there you go. Um, yes, these um I was just I just had some old receipts to go with the uh the new videos. But yeah, this was made uh yesterday. And uh very, very weird because it this looks like and I actually was here for this one, so uh, he did say hi to me. I said, "I said, go run, Rev, run, ha ha." Um, what's weird about this video, and you guys will see it. He starts talking, 
and then he acts like maybe Shani didn't like the way he was talking. So she made him record the whole thing on his tablet, but neglected to cut out all the ums, ahs, ahs, and the neck movements and all that. But here, well, let's uh, watch that. And thank you all for being here. Please like. I ain't gonna work. You ain't gonna work? Yeah. Switch <laughs> the camera around. Oh, I can. Oh, I can, okay. <clears throat> All right, this is going to work. Right. Hey, nerdy and spicy. That hair is, looks crazy. What's up? So, uh, uh, the yes, way I was, was... going to do this is I was going to record a video. That video I just played, that was when they were in Colorado. When they were about to leave, they had one of the biggest blowout fights you would ever see. And again, is that our fault? No. We didn't make them not be able to pay their, their bills. 13 grand. Can you imagine that guy who, who actually owns that condo? Didn't get his money and had to fix, the, fix it. I don't know what happens if they sue them. Who knows? They don't really have nothing <laughs> to just sue them for. So they're kind of just screwed. But I could see Shane and Rev not being able to get a mortgage or rent another place. You know, for a long time because of that, you know, that stuff does carry with you for a couple of years, at least. Of the video I made, I'm doing all right. I'm blessed. Hi, hey, Philly Adam. guy. Hey, true story. Philly guy. So, uh, you boo me already. I, I don't even have a chance to do nothing. Demon rats. Hi, Anna. Hi, Persia. So I made this video on Shani's fire device, but there's no way for me. Oh, uh, and I, I just want to also uh, point this out because I noticed I was rewatching one of my old videos just to make sure I was sometimes the chat goes by so quick. I do my best to read it, but sometimes what I'm doing is kind of different than what the chat's talking about. I do my best, but if I miss something, um, I'm very sorry for that. And uh, if I ever joke around and people are like, oh, what, what was that about? It's never nothing personal. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Sometimes the chat's talking about something completely different. But I do my best to try to uh, go with it. To get it put out because it's, rid hey, it's ridiculous. Hi, Draven. Yeah, there I am. <sighs> Hi, Absurdity. <laughs> hey, Rude First Lady Mercedes. Hey, Ken Dog. Yeah, I haven't been feeling well. You know, I'm going through. I look like a sep sexy corpse. Nah, uh, it's just <laughs> my, the, the lighting in this place ain't that great. I'm living the dream. I'm trying to, yeah. I'm all right. <laughs> living the I'll, dream. I'll, I'll be all right. All right, so here's, here's what I did. All right, let's I hear. recorded a, a video about trolls and that I forgive all trolls because I'm understanding now that it's actually a mental disorder that you're going through. And uh, okay, you know, and remember, folks, never take anything, Rev, or anyone on the online for that matter, personal, because it's you know it's silly. Uh, number one, number two. Why do you guys think that he had to record it separately and then play the video like this? I mean, of course, they probably don't have a working laptop to make it the quality better. But still, to me, this is very weird and very sus. Like, Shani did not trust him enough. You know, because she does. She's obviously keep making and make these videos. And maybe if Rev doesn't have an audience behind him telling him to, like, run and get out of the situation, maybe it's easier for him to get out what Shani wants him to get out. That's what I'm guessing. But, uh, you know, you'll see if, if anyone hasn't seen this yet. Okay, I made this video on Shani's Kindle Fire, but I, there was no way for me to upload it from this device. So what I wanted to do was record the video of the <laughs> Shani video edit, yeah. and then upload it. But uh, Shani said, why don't you just live stream it? And she's right. So I'm just going to go to this. Uh, oh, that sounds Yeah, good. Nurse Ratchet, unfortunately, is registered uh, lex lexicon. Uh, she is registered. The problem is, is she's a fucking psychopathic uh, cunt. 
So here we go. All right. That's me, as you could see, and this is Shani's Kindle Fire here, so this is what you're going to be getting. Here we go. Yeah, this is like Rev doing 4D chess with himself. Here we go. <laughs> wow, hey guys, how you doing? Oh, hey. Uh, so I'm, this, I'm using Shani's uh, Fire HD tablet uh, to do a little video here. So uh, how's everybody doing? Um... So I need to like further address some stuff that's going on. Please, Ralph. Um, specifically right now, I got to talk about this really strange. And when I say strange, it's strange. Um, it's, it's a sense of uh, like, He's a slow. you know me personally in my life or something. It's very strange. I have these people that, are, that, that come in comments and stuff. And it's it's like they personally it's it's it, if you were to guess by by their seeming level of intimacy in in in, in how they're talking about my life. See the uh, ins in ins. I wish you would uh, cut those or yeah, cut those out. That would have been great. Um, well, I could per only personally speak for myself when I say no. I don't know him personally. But I've been on this earth for a long time. I know people. I know human behavior. And I know when someone's being manipulated by somebody. And the fact, you know, like people would always say, if you got somebody because they cheated on uh, somebody to be with you, then expect them to do the same to you. I mean, it's just, that's just human nature. That and the fact that Shani was already talking up G-Man when he was in the jail. Telling him, telling G-Man to uh, keep Rev in the jail, and she'll do this. And you can have this every night, Blah, and it's disgusting. So I can understand where people are like, no, it's not like not about you knowing you personally. It's about knowing human behavior. And she's obviously manipulating you to make all these videos, manipulating you to say all this crap. He just doesn't. And when he does speak up, she mentally brings him back down. And then convinces him that it's all the trolls' fault. You would think that they knew me in real life. They would have to, to care so much. Hey, Cindy. Yes. So I'm going to mainly do this video that I'm doing right now to try and educate people. Okay? Because there's actually a, a, a diagnosable disorder that these people are exhibiting as having. And I'm telling you, this is like, it's very good information I'm giving. And this is how I choose to deal with this stuff other than raging and being angry about it. Because honestly, like Jesus said, forgive them, uh, they don't know, they, they, uh, forgive them for they know not what they do. And that That's really right, is JR. the case <laughs> with these people, I would say, for the most part. Right, because JR. Um, they're suffering from what uh, what's called obsession. Oh, that's, I'm sorry, that was Rev. I, I almost forgot that Rev is watching himself. So. <laughs> Obsessive addictive disorder. Now, most people have heard of OCD, yeah. of obsessive <laughs> compulsive disorder. Most people have heard of that. And it's a disorder where, oh, you know, I have to go close my door three times in order to feel like I can sleep tonight. Or when I when I come in from, from when I come in from the uh, 7-Eleven, I gotta buy Shani like three Pepsi's. Oh my God! Otherwise, she's gonna get slappy. Um, uh, going out to get groceries. When I come in the front door, I have to flick on and off my light switch five times. One, one, on, off, two. Oh, he does that for the cockroaches. <laughs> on, off, three, on, off, four, on, off, five, on. Okay, that's obsessive compulsive disorder and a lot of other things come with that like like washing your hands 15,000 times oh you don't do you, that like, touch the floor or something you know this this is something that many people know about and it's a con <laughs> it like I wouldn't I would even say it's like common you know a lot of people have that type of thing obsessive addictive disorder is now that you're going into a behavior that that it's it's repeated okay and here's what it is it's watching somebody's life from afar, okay? And because you have that level of intimacy with them, <laughs> yeah, right. you see them, you know, in their job or or uh, you Ooh, have I a know. distance, uh, you have a distant look in, into the person's life, but it makes you feel like you should have more access in the person's life. 
and, and this this is where you you get addiction to things like like drama stuff in and I'll, I'll say like Hollywood okay, okay so he's saying that Shani gives us and Shani and Rev give us a little little morsel of their life and we're like oh my god this is so good we just need more we need more and they're like no you only get a little bit and then we start getting oh my god crazy and, and we start making up the things well you know what rev again that, that would be a, a horrible crew of a lot of people there's a lot of channels that talk about them a lot like about 30 i've noticed uh popping up and there used to be a lot more but the fact of the matter is the CPS took the kids without without incident, without any trolls involved. They got rid of they got their uh home taken away without trolls being involved. They got the motel, uh, they got condemned without the trolls being involved. So what what did we do? The this has all been you two. This is all you two. And probably without G Man, you, you probably would have been homeless a lot close uh, a lot sooner. Okay, drama stuff in Hollywood with with the personal stars, where it's like, uh, for example, yeah. in in the current uh, cycle of news, you have uh, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are trying to get back together. Well, they've already, I guess, I don't know. I think I heard that they called it quits already, or they're close to calling it quits already, because the media has been harassing them and going to their, you know, personal. I think, yo, okay. Take a, if you have a drink, take a sip every time Rev does the meth neck. Outings that they have and, and filming. <laughs> I'm not responsible for the alcohol poisoning. And messing with their personal relationship, which is insane. Okay, because that's like, that's like, you know, uh, let's Freaking say hard, a yeah, best, right? you know, control guy taking uh, hey, Tara. a bunch of termites and going to your basement that's made out of wood and he dumps the termites in your basement. That's the same thing as the paparazzi going to somebody's real life and messing with their, their existence. It's, do you see what I'm saying? Because they're making money off of that. Yeah, well, they'll, they'll put the, the personal stuff out there, Mama T, but you know, so people can donate to them. But if you ask any questions and there are questions that they don't want to answer, oh my God, how dare you? <laughs> so it's, it's like, well, then if I can't ask any questions, I ain't gonna give you your two dollars. The, the the pest guy that that dumped the, the the termite box in in your basement with your wood <laughs> foundation, your 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 beams are wood, and the termites are now going to devour your your uh your your woodwork in your basement, and your your house is gonna collapse. Okay, that pest terminator is gonna is going to get uh, a financial uh, a financial gain from the fraudulent activity of, of going into your basement and dumping the termites it's the same exact thing what i, I think i've made my point in it I okay so uh people online criticizing their lies is like a terminate termite guy you know uh coming in and throwing termites in your basement i i, I don't understand that reference i think you get what i'm saying <laughs> No, I don't. And, and, and in a philosophical sense, uh, you can call this poisoning the well, and and it's crazy. But 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 see, in in this weird, really weird, I don't know what the hell is going on where they're trying to make 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 it out to be that I'm like like they know me, like 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 you would guess that these people were like friends of mine from school. Yo, he is, he is, he is tweaking right now, man. Woo! <laughs> man, and, 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 and like, like, I like, like, yeah. Every time he does that, that means he's he's reaching for the stars right now. <laughs> you know, Rev is, yeah, Rev's in clown world right now. Um, but damn. And all I want to know is if he can make the first video and say, uh, "Hey, I, I made this video on her tablet, but I'm gonna show you." Then why couldn't he make the whole thing? It's because Shani wants to make sure he says this word for word verbatim. She probably has cue cards. Or something. And there was even apparently somebody that wrote up an email and they gave it to uh, Dragnot, uh, try, you know, saying this is what Jason was like in high school. And this is insane. Like, like if I was Mel Gibson, you know, I would understand this. But I'm just some guy from YouTube, you know. It's yeah, Mel Gibson. Insane. But, but. What, what 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 people have to really understand is that you you, you almost do have to go okay I'm, I'm seeing this from every dimension now and these people are actually not mentally well 
and that's why they go this far and they and they and they try and adopt you as like a, a son or something they're like oh i'm not going to let i'm not going to let this person abuse you when holy shit i mean we're talking about this is this is the woman that i call my wife it's like okay i i hear you but <laughs> but come on rev 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 the woman that you call your wife, you've already been said that you wanted to leave her several times. Do I need to remind the folks out there? I don't know what you think you're, you're protecting. I don't know. I don't. There's no thing to protect. There's not. That neck. I'm a sovereign individual. And, and if you're a sovereign individual citizen, well, yo, Rev, please, five bucks if you could explain to me what that means. If I did not want to be with <laughs> Shani, I wouldn't be with Shani. It's as simple as that. If I didn't want to be with her, I would get out, okay? So let's put that just to rest forever, okay? If I were not happy in my life, and this is this would go for everybody. Yeah. Because if, if you're in a situation where you do not enjoy your life to that extent, okay, and it is, this is on a scale, of course it is. It isn't, oh, it's either this or I, I'm out, or it's either this and I stay. It's th th These situations are never like that. Okay, when you're dealing with a relationship, <laughs> it's it's gonna be scales all all day every day. It's gonna no, it's not gonna be scales all day every day. It, you know what, man? If I had to be you with your quote unquote girlfriend wife, I wouldn't have to sneak around all night trying to get some food because I'm starving, man. Come on, give me a break, Rev. It's gonna be okay today. I feel really confident about my relationship. We haven't had a fight. In, in a long time, the internet has been out of our life for, for, for you know, the most part, uh, and, and our relationship has improved because of it, okay? All of these things factor in. Um, but, but I'm going to tell you that I can start saying, okay, I can forgive these people because in their minds, I have given them a little glimpse to, into my life with videos. Okay. And I'm only going to play a little bit of this. What about this deleted video, Rev? What about this video that you made right after you got arrested? No, I know. About all, everything they're saying is get the hell out now. You, you're abused horribly. Get out. Yeah, but get out. I am. Get out. You don't love me. You never did. Whoa. See, I did this for her. This. I look like this now. And that was for her. Yeah, that's ridiculous. This is for her. And that's how abuse. How many women have I found? You oh, how many women have I found? Even the police gave them paper, literature. They saw that and said, no, man, she, she, um, you know, she's embarrassing you. You know, she's making you look crazy. You know, so you, so you can never find anyone else. Who, who wants to be with this guy? <laughs> Riff raff with less hair, folks. Talking to like that. They're all saying that's not exactly, cheating. Foxy. That's not cheating. That's right. It's not. Oh wow! Now he's justifying himself. They're all saying it's not cheating, and that's correct. It's not. Now he's justifying himself. You, so you see that everything that Shani, that Rev says, Shani has a equal and more manipulating statement to say over it. So Rev feels bad about everything. Where she gets into the point where Rev's apologizing for her beating him nuts but anyway that's how this was taken and perceived and that's everything that happened that's all that happened so so there's that you know i don't know what happened after that i guess she really kissed his ass to make sure he didn't leave but you know there's plenty of those videos so when rev turns around and says oh i gave you a glimpse into my life yeah man you gave us a huge glimpse and this is the big secret and and, and really makes you understand kind of where they're coming from not that they're correct in their behavior because they're not and it's destructive okay it's very destructive to people's lives because it makes you not be able to get jobs and it makes uh, people think that you're things that you're not and it's the nazi propaganda tactics oh over like over like over like things. child Joseph, abusers Joseph Goebbels propaganda okay this is it's nazi shit this is how they demonize people is is constantly every day over and over again this person is worse than you know i can't even say the names but you know what i mean this this is the worst person you're dealing with yeah. it's the same thing a, a, a after 9 11 when the soldiers were very passionate of course because our country was attacked 
on 9-11 and, and uh, the soldiers had, had pictures of Osama bin Laden <laughs> on toilets and they were pissing on his picture and shit. <laughs> you know, bin Laden is whatever he is and, 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 and you know, we're, uh, uh, infamous as being a, 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 a villain in history. But, um, you know, you're pissing on the picture of, a, you know, just a guy that, that was respected by a lot of people for whatever reason. Oh, that's, that's poor cat. But th- 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 this is how they do that, and and it's 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 a demonization tactic uh, to use against people that you don't agree with, and and and, and Shani, in our case, is that we're Christian, we're outspoken <laughs> Christians. It's as simple as that. And, and there's a lot of uh, if if you don't believe me on that, then you haven't been around as long as I have, because eventually they will come back at you with. I mean, mostly they'll come back with you at you and say, "Yeah, you're just mentally un- unwell yourself." Which in my case is, is is the case because but but it doesn't make me not see the way things are though. Okay. Hey, like, JC. I might be diagnosed. Uh, Rev made this video uh, last night, and it was really crazy. And he couldn't he, he couldn't even film it. He had to film himself filming uh, Shani's tablet because I guess she wanted him to film it the right way. She had to pre-watch it. Which is like that is so pathetic that like that's where we are net right now with the relationship folks where she has to she has to like watch what he says before he even puts it out there because shani wants shani's sick of being um the bully the victim you know poor shani yeah i know shani i know i know well maybe if you start beating people you know everything would be okay <laughs> you know chill out with the punches <laughs> Yeah, stop doing that. Get so effective and stuff, but I, I still have a functioning uh, uh, consciousness that I can use to, to navigate uh, the, this this planet and try and understand what's going on here. Yeah, he looks and it. He, you know what I mean? It's, Alleged. You can have mental illness and, and still be able to contribute to a regular, you know, a philosophical debate. Or uh, and in a lot of cases, that can even be a positive for for, for um, philosophy and stuff. That you have a freer mind of. of uh, you know, uh, to be able to go to places that uh, the more spiritual uh, aspects of, of life and, and, and love, because, you know, uh, at the end of the day, especially with um, people with handicaps and maladies and, and stuff and mental handicaps, the, the spirit can really open their world up uh, in, in a way that nothing else can, because there's innocence there with disabled and, and, and mentally ill people. There is a level of innocence. Of course, there's a lot. There's there's evil. I mean, all he's trying to say here is that, you know, Shani told him that we're all mentally ill for telling him to run away from a woman that has beat him, that has uh, named him as the aggressor, that said that he, that he hit her children, all this stuff. And uh, he just sits there and uh, takes it. But, you know, Shani or uh, Rev... Rev thinks that he can't get nobody else. And that's the point of all this, folks. There too, but uh, there's definitely, uh, you know, when you talk to a homeless person that, that's been, been facing it for a long time, it's, for, it's really a wonderful experience to be able to just listen to them speak. And, 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 and they'll have a lot of different stories. And, and, and it'll make you go in the future when you're going through shit and you go, wow, yeah. You know, I remember what that guy was telling me about how hard it can be to, to, to just get by with, with a couple of fucking cigarettes, you know. Um, but the, the point is here is that a lot of this now, I, like, it's been hard for me to be like Jesus in, in, in the recent, in, in my recent, um, <laughs> in my dealings with this situation. See, he's got to look at her. He's got to look at her. But Rev, we all know how you feel, bro. We all know how you feel about that woman. Sit on me too. Yeah. We know. After you fucked me yesterday. Ugh. Yeah. I wish I could rip my fucking thing off after it being in you. Why would you have, why would you say that, Rev? If you love this woman, your your girlfriend, wife so much, why would you want to rip it off? Why are you so scared? What's up? Yeah. It's sterile and disgusting after being in you. Wow. I mean, come on. I'm just saying, and everyone's heard that one. That one's another one of my personal favorites. You know, he thinks his baby carrot is sterile and disgusting. So if if Shady's already put that in his head, no wonder why he's not even going to try to leave the house, even though he'd get he'd have so much help. And you know, I'm sure he could probably find someone. I mean, he's got to shave his head though again, definitely for sure. 
recently, it's been very difficult for me to be like Jesus and just forgive because the harassment has gone on so long and, and it's literally pushed us into a situation where we got no money and everything. That's it. That, that, this harassment is what got us. Yeah, I agree, Penny. It's, it's in poor taste, but like when he talks about cancer and everything else, it's just same thing. But yeah, he has no respect for the people that actually were in New York at the time back then. Now, I, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you're talking about. It, it is highly disrespectful, but he, you know, he, he knows not what he does. Thanks because for the comment. We got kicked out of the habitat and we were paying a very reasonable rent that we could afford easily. And we were happy as we could have ever been as a family. You you were paying a, a reasonable rent that you could afford easily. Habitat, 3K, $3,000 a month for a three bed, three tier, three bathroom, nice condo in Colorado where they could smoke until their heart's desire. They didn't have to worry about CPS bothering them. It was... It was a good couple of years for them. They they wasted so much money. I bet they thought they were on top of the world, folks. In, you know, looking back is a bitch. In, in, in the habitat in Colorado, and you assholes swatted us and got us kicked out of our apartment, and that's where our financial trouble came from. Oh, well, I have a video that I just played that said that it was a welfare check that you refused to answer. So why are you saying it's swatting? Because it, that sounds more serious. It wasn't swatting because if it was, they would have put a guns to your head and uh, taken all your computers away. So you wouldn't have had that laptop to blackmail um, uh, to, to blackmail Shani's son into le uh, letting him keep it so he wouldn't talk about what went down that day. The fact of the matter is, is I had plenty of money coming in to afford the habitat indefinitely. That's a and lot. By the time now, my God, I'd be a multimillionaire now because Apple stock split five, uh, three ways. So I'd be sitting there in the habitat, multimillionaire, just paying, you know, 1500 a month and just sitting pretty with a family. And half salad, a right? Shit exactly. Had to swat us and make so much noise in the community that we, we, they thought that terrorists lived in that place because you sacks of shit called the police the way you did. I mean, Janny, and you destroyed our lives, and that's it. Like, it, it is a very big deal that I can't say, okay, I forgive. And you know what? The, the problem with Rev is that sometimes he will tell the truth, definitely over Shanny. Shanny never tells the truth, even though, even it never even, it'll slip out, but like the wrong way. Um, I, it, I when I always think that Rev could get away from her, she manipulates him, and then he comes back with this bullcrap. I can't forgive you guys. I can't. No one did anything to you. If you had the money, if you didn't spend it on cameos and giving people five hundred dollars to go after people because you're being bullied because you're abusing children. I mean, really, this is what I say to people. If someone gives you a large amount of money. Uh, I would, you know, like I'm talking like four or five hundred dollars, you know, look at that sideways, you know, because that's a lot of money for a donation. Usually people don't donate that high, but later on, if they're like, all right, now I need you to go out to this person. It's like, uh, thanks for the donation, but, uh, I don't do that, you know, <laughs> because there's been so much bullshit. And if I'm in hey, my line, I'm saying, fuck that. No, like this is that? bullshit. I was wrong. You like that, you and fat had a fucking... Crash Cooter Coot donated $2 Whee! through Super Chat. Like, <laughs> like subscribe, that? and donate, you, you like sexy that, people. You fat... Thank you so much, Crash. He says hi to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> me too, Lava. What's up? Uh, like, subscribe, and donate, you sexy people. Yes, well, you said that. Yeah, it's you know, it's just it's been a cycle with these two. It really has. It's been it's been a cycle of craziness. Hey, let me change this. Thing. Not that one. Uh... Oh, nostalgia. Ooh, that's nice. Go in front of a judge for no reason because of this bullshit, this wadi. Poor rev. And it ruins your life. You apply to jobs. No, you have an obstruction charge. Bye. Get a job. Get a job. You, you see my emails. Sorry, we can't hire you. You can try and contest this if you want to. I'm not going to. Why? You can't contest it. It happened. The the circumstances of it all are, are never explained to a potential employer. Do you get what I'm saying? The context that it was one. There, there was one 
un unlawful arrest that was taking place at the same time that I got arrested for obstruction. Yeah, I was obstructing an unlawful arrest, but I still got charged and it's on my record. It's total fucking bullshit. Hmm. Okay. Like, Shani's charges were completely done away with, and that should have been done with mine, too. It's complete bullshit. I was trying to be a good citizen and stop an unlawful arrest. And that neck. Well, you know what? Check the... Sorry, check, check uh, this out here. I mean, if you just put his name in, he's saying unlawful arrest, this and that. I mean, first, he comes up with the, the book, the stupid Tento Saga he wrote and everything. Weirdest apology, some YouTube videos... And uh, I think the thing when he threatened uh, some Obama and other people when he went on Alex Jones, and the thing about Shani got uh, in trouble for the for the for the police that she had that the, the kids taken away. So what? This has nothing to do with any any trolls. This is the truth. This is what happened, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you don't like that, you know, talk to your girlfriend there. Who, who put you in this mess in the first place. Just just saying, Rev. You can't blame us for everything. You got to take some responsibility, bro. And and, and my judge knew this. He said, he say, you know, my judge was a really good judge, Judge Martin. And and, and he, say, he said, but you just have to realize that that in America, you, you just, you can't, you can't do this type of stuff. You can't step up like that on an officer, officer of the peace. And, and and he said, I know that that's disheartening and, and, to say because because you were standing up for what you you knew was to, to be the truth and correct, and you were correct. This was all said in court. And, and he yeah. said, just but, but that's how you know he's lying, citizens. dude. Uh, standing or you know you know <laughs> not showing just right? absolute Ten. respect and dignity to officers of the law, and I actually agree with that. Okay. Because I'm on the conservative, I'm a conservative, so I'm on the side of, of yeah, respect police and shit. I am. So I, the, like, it's totally uncharacteristic for me, this guy, like, like, it. There we go. Kelly Lewis Fisher has just donated $10 through Super Chat. Hey, Draven, I need you to go after some folks. Sorry, I don't have Shani and Reverend Money. Oh, wait. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate it. But you know what? That's that's how it was with those people. It was just like, here's a bunch of money. And they did it to a lot of people. You can't blame you can't blame everybody for, for that. That's that's silly. You know what I mean? That's that silliness that Rev and Shani want to blame for everybody else. And besides going after people, the cameos, Jeffree Star makeup, um, other things, um, killer instinct leather jackets that Rev needed. Uh, Magic the Gathering stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. And, and when I was in prison, the guy, the the, the the guards in prison were like, what the hell are you in here for? Like, you're this white guy. You, you, you know, you got like hippie hair or whatever. But it's like, you're <laughs> Not just anymore. this white guy. What, how the hell did you get in here? What did you do? You know, it's like, I totally don't fit. I was telling the, the, the guards, like, I'm Blue Lives Matter. Like, I, I like cops and everything. They're like, what the hell are you doing? I, I hate how he's just like, oh, yeah, the, and, the, and the inmates were like, what's this white guy doing in here? You, I just don't fit in here. Well, if you're an abuser of children, you, you sure do, bro. What's going in here, man? Why are you in jail? <laughs> it's funny. But it showed privilege. It does show privilege, and I did see that in jail. Like, there was very few white men in jail. It was mostly minorities, and that's just a fact. Either mixed racial, lots of mixed race, actually, lots. But whites like maybe five okay when i got to gen pop there was maybe at most like five white guys <laughs> so like wow. you can see in the prison that there's institutional racism, <laughs> racism. And it's, it, there's no <laughs> doubt about that and i'm a conservative okay i'm telling you i see exactly it. like how the hell you know I, I i'm just gonna tell you the truth on that so yeah but i i i to, to finally come to it and and i'll i'll just wrap it up with this I can start feeling a place of, okay, I can forgive these people. I can move on from this type of stuff and not feel anger over it. Because that's what I'm trying my best not to feel, is 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 the wanting to lash out and rage and that crap. I'm trying to completely do away with that in my life, complete, none of it, because I don't think it's godly. So I can start to forgive these people because they do have a mental problem. 
and it's called obsessive addictive disorder. People need to look into that. Like OCD and that are not the Thanks, same thing. Still obsessive shorty. addictive disorder. <clears throat> Thank you, still short. And, and it, it literally that makes you him. feel <laughs> like you're related to the person that you're focusing on, that you're addicted to, paying attention to. And I can go, wow, okay, these people are just not well, and they're and they've like wrapped themselves up in yeah for my two life, weeks. It's crazy. So um, I went on for 20 minutes, but that's it. You know, God bless you all. I really hope, hope and pray that you're having a, a wonderful holiday season. Um, with all of your relatives, you know, that you had a great Thanksgiving, and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed and Merry Christmas. And uh, let's hope 2023 uh, is up on on the up slant for uh, people because, man, I think it's been a pretty rough year. God bless everybody. Hi, Lava, lava Girl. Yeah, so that's... Oh, there there you go, Lava Girl. There's your shout-out. <laughs> Let me make sure I got that. That, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, peace out. God bless you all. Pray for me and Shani. Pray for Shani. She just don't feel good. Peace out. Oh, no, I'm not going to pray for Shani. Why would I pray for Shani? Shani's awful, man. Shani's the type of person that's been making you uh, put put yourself in these problems already. You know, why would I do that? <laughs> I'm not going to pray for that. So actually today, uh, like about an hour ago, uh, G-Man made a video and it's about 48 minutes. I'm probably not going to watch all of it. I'll probably just like skim through. I didn't really get to uh, see all of it. Oh, it says Shady hasn't done nothing wrong to nobody. So let's check it out. But thank you all for being here. Like the stream and uh, here we go. I, I still feel like, you know, if G-Man knew a lot of this going down, uh, he should have um, he should have said something to CPS. But, you know, let's uh, let's go. If this was court, there are several uh, uh, pieces of evidence that goes against her. Because even if I was supporting her, I would not be uh, equipped to agree with her on this because she's lying. She has done things to people. If if she hasn't, yeah. I would have no reason to forgive her for anything, right? So Shani has gotten online, gotten mad at black people, myself, like a free spirit, Dragnut, that's true. And other people on here and have gotten angry and called people the N-word. You have done something to someone. You have shown your ignorance, Shannon. You have shown your hatred towards people who are not like you, Shannon. Okay? You have gotten on here and called people the N-word. And it's not just you, but it's also your man who's done the same thing. By the way, once again, please do not give any super chats. I want to get right through this. I don't want to read anything. Just quickly, let me just get through as quickly as possible. Because I'm actually going to defend Carrie a little bit here. I'm going to defend some people on here. So, the, the thing is, is that she has used racial slurs online. She has given people money on yes. here to do harm to other people. A lot of people might not remember this, but she, well, yeah, I was just saying. She was giving money to Brett King to speak ill about me, about the whole house situation. And when, I, when Brett understood what was going on, Brett turned on Shannon. Okay, so she was paying people to say terrible things about myself and other people on the internet. And a lot of people turned on her once she couldn't pay for them anymore. But yeah, I miss, I miss. So sorry for her to get her money. Now, I did this for the better part of three years with Shannon. Okay, I was giving them money when they was in Colorado. I let them stay here. Um, I was giving them money for food and clothing and whatnot. And Jason, you keep saying I'm making stuff up, dude. You keep saying I'm making stuff up. You have a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. When are you going to give me an invite to talk to me directly about that? Uh, it doesn't look like he will. You know what? It looks like Rev. Maybe he was monetized. It doesn't look like Rev is even monetized anymore because when I was in his chat yesterday, I didn't see a little dollar sign next to uh, my name. So uh, I don't know what happened with that. Okay, it's easy to get on here and say people are making stuff up. It's another thing to get in a room with a person and prove it. Jason, when are you going to make the video about how the house smelled? You have yet <laughs> right? to, read, to, to say I'm wrong about it. And then number two, you... Bucks. I spent you a man gave me the best dick the Kelly Lewis day. Fisher so donated $5 for Super Chat. I'm pretty Even sure if you pray for Shani, God cancels prayers for yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God will be like, oh, that's a throwaway prayer. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kelly. I appreciate it. Yeah. He's like, ah, don't worry about that one. There, there's better. There's um, people that actually deserve these prayers. <laughs> you have yet to, to show why I'm wrong about these things. Because you know I got neighbors, construction workers I can put on here that oh. will say the exact opposite of what you're saying. He's got construction workers. All right. So... Stop with this pity party, Shani. You're in the position that you're in because of yourself. Because you and your man refuse to work. If I'm not mistaken, I heard somebody in the chat once say yeah. that Shani said that, um, no, sorry, not Shani. Jason said he would rather be homeless than work. 
And she and he says she can't work because she's crippled and she's handicapped and she can't do anything. Which which both of them are full of it. All right. Let's go to the Bible here real quick for Shani, Shani who claims to be a Christian and Jason claims to be a Christian. I'm challenging that. In Galatians chapter six, verse seven, it says, and listen very listen clearly here, Jason, because I offer you this back. I offer this back to you. And yeah, and that's the one thing I could give G Man to uh no now well not from before but now actually be like yo in the bible you're doing what you're not doing what the bible says and you know he seems like he studies it a lot you know every night <laughs> when he gets those urges so he would know and and it's good to see someone like that be like no you guys you don't know what you're talking about these are demons this is this is not what you're supposed to be doing being a you know being a, a christian i think even someone asked me uh, in my last comment section they said about um they thought i was a christian i never said i was a christian i said i have belief and there was a time i didn't so i feel like i have a different uh perspective than some people that never believed at all you know what i mean all you had to do was get serious about your life dude you saw the conditions but get love shannon right <laughs> this is my response to you i read Galatians sure chapter he does. six verse seven be not deceived god is not mocked and no i'm not bad that's who i serve for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his Oh, now I know how G-Man got his name. <laughs> his flesh so shall, shall reap, shall of his flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall reap the spirit, life everlasting. And you ain't trying to reap the spirit, dude. What you're doing is you're, you you say, look, okay, I lost everything. I'm going to keep my woman. I'm going to get on, on social media and beg people for a living. And then you're going to get mad when people criticize you when that happens. If you think it's bad for you to beg on social media uh mindy i don't know why that didn't come up but hopefully if it comes up but if it doesn't it, uh, five dollars from you thank you so much drave i want to support your channel you have a laid back funny style got to be here folks thank oh. you mindy oh there it is oh, 800 bucks i spent a hundred man gave me the best dick the other day it was so good mindy summers donated oh. five dollars through super chat oh, 800 draven wants to support your channel you have a laid back so funny style glad to be here folks and i'm glad you're here as well <laughs> thank you mindy yeah i do try you know it's um it, it's very it's very hard you know um having a channel just probably like anything in life just like have you know like i know they call youtube famous well i don't think that's fame um i wouldn't say it's fame but i'll say it's a something and a lot of times people get messed up with the uh dramas that happen behind the scenes when the cameras or when the when the when the live streamings are not rolling it's a lot of stupid drama and i try my best to stay out of it i'm glad i have friends to keep me out of it i even have ogs that uh bigger creators than me and they'll be like yo don't mess with that person don't even talk to that person and you know i i'm grateful to that but uh thank you uh for that five dollars i just keep it going because i know that you guys get a lot out of it and it makes me feel better i feel like you know i feel like i get to vent and have fun but yeah i just like having fun with everybody hey it's a coffee what's up the coffee someone wait till you're sleeping outside and people are walking past you not even caring just wait because with that attitude that the two of you got that's where you're headed you're one argument away jason one argument away with, from, from with your uncle to be thrown back out. One right. argument away. You're the police coming over there. One extra time away from being thrown out in the street, dude. One. And now God is giving you yet another opportunity to opportunity to repent. Uh, Daisy, I totally agree, and that's what I'm gonna do. Now here's the thing. I've given, God has given you a phenomenal opportunity for you to get on here. And I and I'll just say I do wish I I knew what the whole thing is with the uncle. If the uncle's allowing them to stay there temporarily until they get something else situated. Like, I really, really want to know because obviously the uncle don't want them there because he's already kicked them out already. But obviously, I guess he takes pity on them, sees that they're down on their luck. But I think without people helping them, like the uncle and stuff, that they, they really need to hit bottom. And then, like they say, the miracle can happen. You know what I mean? Don't leave until the miracle happens. <laughs> That's what they say in AA and stuff like that. But I think a lot of that is true. You know, um, you know, for people that have these types of addictions and they say to believe in a higher power, they don't mean believe in God or Jesus or 
anything like that. They, they just don't believe in yourself. Believe in the chair, you know, <laughs> because obviously you have not done things great, you know, with you at the helm. You need something else at the helm, whether it's like, like I said, a chair. But with that being said, that's it's kind of I am with all the whole thing with about belief and and this and that and how I started to realize how belief can mean many many different things. Cut your ties with Shani. Yeah. And get your life together. You don't want to do it. You you want to be with Shani forever. What is Shani offering you, Jason? Besides nothing. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. My bad. She is offering you two things. Oh yeah. First thing that she's up? offering you is putting up pie. That's number one. And you probably think she's the only one who can give you poutine pie, right? The second thing <laughs> what? she's offering you is her poutine pie. Yeah. Then you think nobody else out there can do better than that? Well, they are, they're with the uncle, but the uncle doesn't live there. This is a house that Rev owned that he gave to the uncle to sell that the uncle hasn't sold yet. He wants to. That's why he doesn't want them there because the last time they were there, like the place stunk and they were slobs like they, they normally are. And now they, after the motel got condemned, they were forced to go back there. <laughs> but the reason why you're in the situation that you and Shani is because people hated people hating on you. Listen to me, people hated me for years. I've been on here for ten years, and people been hating. Let's just keep it real here for a minute. People hated me for the longest. Okay, for the longest, for the longest. They're not saying things that they're saying about you guys. It's, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't call it that, Maria. I, I'd call it a, you know, Venus flytrap. <laughs> uh, and say those same things about me. Because that keeps it real. And if somebody does say that, you know all you got to do is give me a link and we'll talk about it. Because that's how I handle my business. Okay? But you, Shady, you want to get on here, you want to make stuff up. Oh, my back hurts. I can't work. My show. Oh, yeah, ex exactly, Tara. Like, uh, I, like I always say, and I've never not said, I even said to G-Man, the stuff he says to females is is sexist. It definitely is. When he's all with the woman talk, well, woman, you need to do this, and woman that, woman, woman, and, and pretend you gotta control your woman. Like he talks like he's still in the 1950s. Like I know he's old, but come on, he's not that old, folks. So I, I agree, Tara. He knows a lot about them, but he really needs to uh, learn. And that's why I was actually proud of him that he um, apologized. Uh, he actually apologized to Burnt Toast uh, for for all the threats he said against her life and calling her names. And you make a billion different excuses. Your own mother said that when you was perfectly healthy and fine, that you was doing exactly what you was doing here. You were laying in the bed, you were, you, you were peeing up your kids, and you were peeing on the floor. You guys wasn't doing what you had to do. And you was expecting somebody else to do everything for you. Then you got mad when somebody went to charge you for the utilities that you were using, for the space that you were taking. That's right. You can get on Twitch and you can lie all you want. I will testify in a court of law that all you did when you was here just get was high up in that bed and you didn't bust your behind working the way you said you was laying up in that bed playing oh, games oh, 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 oh. Uh, I don't know what that was uh wiping Shaney's butt <laughs> that's all you were doing oh, and then when oh, I came oh. here and I had a little bit of delta eight with me or I had a little bit of food she I wish I wish I would have recorded that day when she was crawling down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can you imagine Shani crawling down the stairs? Yo, she was crawling down the stairs like in The Exorcist. <laughs> I would have ran out the door. You know what I mean? But she came down those stairs. She said, "Give me a hug." She said, "Gina, help, help." And I didn't know what that was. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's see here or there. I'm stupid. Yes, I know that. You can call me that right now when you want. But the bottom line is, Shani, is that you can move around when you need to. Nobody carried you out of that hotel. You walked. Everybody heard you walking to the bathroom. Right? How are you doing, celebrity user? I am a living witness to how lazy the both of you are. If you think I'm making anything up, Shani, there's one surefire way you can prove that I'm a liar. You can get Reb up, you can get Jason's uncle to come on one of your streams, and you can get him. To tell everybody why you're not lazy and why you're why you're busting your behind. Oh, yeah, no that'd one's be ever great. gotten you fired from job, Shani. From what I understand from your mother, you was working at a nursing home or whatever, and you lost your job because you was making YouTube videos. At the yeah, that's true. YouTube is not a job. It can be a career if you actually make enough money to live on it. You do not make enough money on Twitch 
to make to, to make a living off of this. And when reality is really gonna kick you in the butt, is when CPS says, okay, what's your living situation? I'm a money maker. When it's time to do it, it's time to get those kids back. You ain't never getting them back with this attitude that you got of not wanting to work. I, I'm willing to bet the farm, Jason, that neither one of you filled out your paperwork to get social security or anything like that, or to get temporary rent assistance, because you should have it by now. Everybody in this neighborhood is telling me it only- Yeah, they could have had it um, months ago. All they had to do was to go down the town hall in, in, in Scranton, Scranton town hall and sign for it you know it'd be a couple hundo a month and you know and then maybe they could put set them up with a, another hotel to stay in but again these are stipulations that if you need a temporary assistance you have to pay it back if you win in the lottery or anything but i doubt shani and rev are gonna be winning a lottery anytime soon folks it only takes two weeks two weeks for somebody to get tra temporary rent assistance two weeks you liar no, what you guys are doing is you're comfortable now. You feel safe. Police mm -hmm. are 40 seconds away. That was stupid, by the way, Shani, because now they can call the police on you whenever they want, and they know they're going to be there super fast. Just keep giving people free information about, about yourself. You're dumb. I keep telling you this. So you get on here, and you tell everybody you're Venice, and then you think nobody's going to mess with you because you didn't do nothing to nobody. You didn't call life of the free spirit the N-word. You didn't call me the N-word. You didn't call drag the N-word. You must call other black people in here the N-word. You don't still talk about those race issues no more, right? I'm starting to watch and see just what you guys are doing on here, right? You you get on here and you deliberately lie to people saying that you're hungry when we all went, well, not when we all, but a lot of people don't know this, but when you're asking for the money, you want Delta 8. That's what you yeah. want for medication. It isn't- Because they already have the uh, food stamps taken care of, and I'm sure they're using food pantries because you can use, you know, you have food stamp card, you, get, you can use free uh, food pantries and you can go as many as you want. I'm sure they have a lot of rice there, folks. Proven medication to do nothing for your body. I've been doing some research on this. It doesn't do anything for pain. Delta 8 doesn't do nothing for mental for, for, for your mental yeah. health or anything like that. Delta 8 is supposedly <laughs> an oil that comes from the for that, 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 that comes from a weed plant. That's all it is. And you have a weed addiction. That's why you guys left here and you packed up your bags and you went to Colorado because it was legal for you to smoke all you wanted. You didn't think about the future. You ain't think about the fact that the stock market could crash, even though I warned you that would happen. Um, no, they thought, oh, we can uh, get away with smoking as much as we want and CPS can't do nothing. You didn't think about the fact that you needed to invest your money. No, all you want to do is spend them into oblivion. And Jason's too stupid to understand that you're looking for his replacement. Oh, That's why, you know what? I'm not even going to try to break you up. She ain't going to do it for me. You know what? Some man is going to contact her. They're going to show him the money and then she's going to be gone. There ain't going to be nothing you can do about it, Jason, because you're not married, dude. You're not married. Shani, stop with the nonsense saying that you haven't done nothing to nobody. You have done plenty of people in here. You know, it's probably for the best for them not to be married, actually, at this point, because if Shani is really threatening or is going to leave after this, after uh, G-Man gives him the the half of or a, a piece of the price of the of the sale of the house then if they're not married then she legally he legally doesn't have to give her any of that money and he just has to just you know not give it to her you know but uh we know how she is going to spin that folks i didn't forget you told brett keen i deserve a bullet in my head you Whoa. told brett keen i deserve a bullet in my head i never forgot that you told Brett King, that I deserve a bullet in my head. I don't know what that video is, but I'm gonna play that video. <laughs> she said I deserve a bullet in my head. You said that you want to drive That's crazy. Dead. I got the text messages to prove it. I have shown. Oh, and then Rev said that he didn't write that letter. I'll tell you what we'll do. Hey, Rev, why don't you write anything down in real time? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't need to do that, Rev. You but probably could. Like when I say you're stupid and you don't think things through, you're just stupid. Oh, this is great. This is where you kind of get to see the whole the whole house. I mean, this is the house. This was Rev's childhood home for people who uh, are new or just getting here. What's up? What's up, Replay Crew? Uh, put a, hey, this worked last time. Put a one in the chat just so I know like how far you got to and uh, and all that. And everybody, thanks for the comments in the last video. Like, I really appreciate it. The community is growing so great, and there's people that are really caring, so they're making sure that they know the fuck shit's going on. So. Thank you guys. Thank you mods. Thank you members. And, and that's it. We're having fun. And if you guys want to join the fun, like, subscribe, become a member, consider it. Don't have to, but it's fun, you know? This house used to be yours before it was mine. So obviously you wrote things down in here.
But I'm gonna show everybody this how stupid Jason Negroff really is at the end of the day. And I can say his name because he says his yeah. name on here all the time. Put his like on here real quick. Yeah, they're mad. Oh, they, different last name. Who's writing is this, Jason? Jason. Hey, all right, I'm gonna pause this so I can kind of see the writing. Who's writing is this? Complete Jewish by Oh, so Rev's one of those that have, you know, every type of bio, a Bible. JWE, October 30th, 2013. So a day, on Mischief Night, he got a copy of the Complete Jewish Bible. Why? Who knows? I mean, it's Rev. But this looks like the same stuff that was in uh, that little uh, Death Note notebook for um, those spells that he was putting on Dragon and, and then the other content creators. Whose writing is this? Whose writing is this? Well, it's his. Do you know how many documents in this house has this handwriting on here, you moron? Let me show you something else. Hold on. The Tento I Saga? I like up here. I can use. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm in the attic. I just oh, show what's up, life? At the end of the day. That's awesome. Hey, hold on Thanks for being and here. And Shani, you said I destroyed your air fryer. It's right here. You need to come and get it or it's going in the garbage. I mean... You know, I don't know why they couldn't fix this house. It, it seemed to have enough rooms for them, plus a full walk-around attic, not like a crawl space attic. They could have they could have had a, a channel or studio up there. I, I don't get it. All right. But what I want to show everybody is this. This is show you how dumb Mr. Egroff really is at the end of the day. Oh, what's this? Jason, you know what this is, man? You know what this is? You know what this is? This is all your paperwork, dude. What? Well, well, what do you mean? You mean you're you're telling me that uh, you're telling me that not everybody keeps important documents or birth certificates in a garbage bag? Really? Uh, oh my God! Maybe that's why they lost that house. In the other one. In the other one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but Rev, uh, Rev, don't put your stuff in a garbage bag, dude. And then leave it there. And then leave it there at, with G-Man? Dude, that, that thing is heavy. That's all paperwork in there? That's a lot of paperwork in there. Shit. This is all your paperwork right there. Damn. Okay? And I'll do another one right here. All of this is your paperwork, and a lot of this has your signature on it, dude. All I got to do is put that letter and line oh, it up with okay. the, and, and the stuff that you wrote in, in, in regular lettering or whatever is lined up with that, and everybody will see how much of a liar you are, dude. What do you mean get out of yeah. here? It's my house. Oh, oh, nothing wrong with that. I was just, I was just wondering. Um, you know, I, I guess Rev was on maybe a self discovery like I was back in 1997. I did the same thing. I had, I didn't have it in the Quran form, like you know, scrolls. My Jewish uh, friends did, and they kind of showed me and explained to me, you know, what they could about the uh, Judaism. But uh, I, I read a couple of different Bibles in the late 90s when I was having a crisis of faith because a couple of friends of mine died on me. And, you know, I guess that's when you start questioning, you know, what's really going on, you know? But yeah, I think the more the merrier, uh, Maria, it gives you more of a perspective to talk to people about religion. If you read all the Bibles out there, even the satanic one. And I, but I will tell you this, all those Bibles are very, very similar. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't have to get out of nowhere. Let me see. Um, <laughs> that's cool, Mary. Hey, he has bro. stuff he has written all over the place. I can compare the writing and show everybody that he's the one who wrote that letter. Don't give me that trash. Let me see something in here. I think this is another one of them Bibles he wrote in because he always like to write his name in these Bibles. Yeah, I love when he shows more of the house. No, that's his mother, his grandmother. Hold on. Nope. But anyway, I'll do a video where I where I compare the what you call it, the letter with that. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Once I want that where I'll post it and show everybody what I'm talking about. But he's full of it. Of so, course he is. He's Rev. <laughs> you're in a situation that you're in right now, Jason, because you refuse to work. Shani, you're starving. You're not starving. You're hungry. You're not living the lifestyle that you want to live because you were too busy putting other people down. That's another thing that you did that you think everybody forgot. You see, when you were spending all of his money. Okay? Mm -hmm. When you were out there getting high every day, I guess you forgot about the part where when 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 you was on cloud nine and you were telling everybody that they was gonna be poor and you told everybody how much money you spent on perfume and you were showing off and you illegally evicted me and all this other stuff. Give me this garbage. You haven't done nothing to nobody. You have done And again, man.
all the way he's saying is true and valid. I've seen it. He used to, she used to call us peasants for drinking water. And I think that's funny because she can't even, she can't even uh, afford a glass to have her soda. That's why she has to fill up her soda bottle with water. Yes, exactly. I love that. But uh, he's right about that. But it's just, I wish he would have said it when it was happening. You know, um, optics, context is everything, folks. And to my opinion, optics is as well. Because when you wait a long time for some, you know, to say something's bad, it, it happens. And then something bad happens, like the children got taken away for child abuse. People are like, uh, yeah, you're talking now, but are you trying to save face? So I get everybody. That's why I try to stay neutral and just say, I understand where everyone's coming from. Plenty of people. You are unthankful. And when TV was the last time right? <laughs> any of you heard Shani give God thanks for anything hey, that she has? Or had. She wasn't thankful here. Oh, this house is a piece of... Do you know how many different times Rev called this place a piece of garbage? How many times Shandy called this place a piece of garbage? They have no problem living here. Do you know how many times um, um, uh, 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 when, when they was in that hotel, they called it a piece of garbage? They could have lived outside. And he was paying. Outside, I see you. And it was a piece of garbage that, you know, that, that, ha that hotel was a piece of garbage, but, uh, you know, they could have lived outside or they could have made some money and found their own hotel or motel to keep that trash. You call it Twitch stream alive. What happens when everybody ignores you? What about oh, yeah. that uh, revenue then? Her child be dead folks. And instead of you acknowledging the fact that you need these people, what do you do? You get on here and you just utterly just disrespect every last one of them. Now, I ain't no angel. People get on my nerves. I'm quick to block as well. Make no mistake about it. But I'm not dependent on individual people. I'll admit, I like it when other channels talk about me because it brings me viewers. <laughs> but Shani, understand yeah, this. That is true. Understand this. If these people start talking about you tomorrow, you think you're doing bad now. You're really going to be doing bad. You need these people to talk about you. How you doing, uh, Miss Star? And I saw your video with your daughter. All right. Um, the point is, is that, Shani, you are thankless. You are unthankful. You refuse to repent. That is the number one reason you are in the position that... Oh, uh, Azure, when, when was that one from? Was she demanded so because she's still a queen? Was that on Twitch? You are in today. You refuse to repent. You won't even acknowledge you have done wrong. Shannon, do you understand that when you chose to be with Jason, do you understand that, first of all, we all understand, I think by now anyway, that you only went there because of the money. The money is gone, and now yep. you're showing how you really feel about the guy. Yeah, 100%. But do you understand that when you chose him, you're stuck now? There is no getting on social media getting people to feel sorry for you. Some days are over. There is no coming on social media now and getting people to like you, thinking you some type of diva. Those days are over because you're showing everybody who and what you really are at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, I can agree with that. If Shani would have kept her mouth shut on a lot of things that was nobody's business and never included her children in any streams, not got high even though she was in Colorado, I think that would have made, you know, she would have been almost like a foodie beauty. She she probably would have had like 40,000 subs. I mean, because every time she would retry to make a new channel, she get she kept up there in a the sub count. So I could see her being a bigger channel than she is today by just, you know, doing, uh, following the terms of service. All right, Miss Star, we can, we can work something out. Well, we can talk. But you chose Jason. Now, guess what? You're going to get everything that comes with Jason. The laziness, the fact that he doesn't want to work, the fact that, that he likes his things the way he likes them. If he don't want to come online, you're not going to get him being all energetic and active or anything like that. This is the life you chose, and this is the life you will have for the rest of your existence on Earth until you wake up and repent and acknowledge the wrong you have done to so many people on the Internet. Which she will never do. That'd be Hold great. Time, I can see your comment. You can obviously say lies. <laughs> You, I think I deserve the finger snap on your own life. I don't feel sorry for you no more, Shani, because my eyes are open and I see you for what for who and what you are. You're a con artist. You're hey, a purple manipulator. Man, what's up? You're a very good liar, and you're delusional. Yeah, what's what's up, Purple Moon? I know that you're like uh, all the way in Europe, so I do appreciate that you when you do see them live. 
I'm just finishing up this G-Man video. I do appreciate that uh, you get to even just come in and be like, hey, look, I, I just want to be in the live chat. <laughs> so thank you just so much just so you even wake up and listen. And I'm glad that uh, that you'll be in the replay crew later. Uh, later. You're delusional. You value a video game more than you value your own children. Oh, yeah. I said that, Channy. You value a video game more than you value your own children. You value your video game more than you value your man. If you cared about your man, you would get him on a diet better than peanut butter and Red Bull. You don't even encourage the man to eat. And at the rate he's going, they're going to arrest one of them. They're going to arrest you, Channy. They're going to arrest you. You're going back to jail whether you know it or not. And yeah, can't they arrest her for malnourishing him? I mean, yeah, sure. Jason's an adult, but he's he's unmedicated or not medicated the right way. He needs to be on some crazy SSRIs or something where, you know, his brain activity can, you know, where he can actually function. And he needs to eat like at least three square meals a day. Like, what is he, like 120 pounds soaking wet? I mean, I've seen... When they had money, he was a lot heavier, but he's he's like a pale comparison for where he was even a year and a half ago. This man is shriveling up right before our eyes, and you won't even let the man go to the doctor. You think nobody has proof of you stopping him from doing that? And Jason, I saw your video about you loving her and how yeah, people nuts. have these mental illnesses, and this is my response to you regarding that, Mr. Higaroff. Sir, you are not a PhD, you are not a doctor, you are not a psychiatrist, and you are not qualified to tell anybody what they have. However, you yourself have said that you have one, and so does your woman. So how about this? If the two of you are cuckoo, cuckoo, then say that about you guys. Yeah, you know, I'll even say this. I, because I was curious, I actually talked to a, uh, a therapist about this whole people online saying that they had the bpd and everything and it, unless they were diagnosed it if they just think this because of online or you know they're self-diagnosing googling their diagnosis the therapists out there are so sick of hearing that they oh i have bpd like no you need a therapist to do that because normally it's probably some sort of autism you know, but autism and BBT look very similar. There's only a couple of things, uh, differences that you would not know because Shinny's obviously not qualified. I just want to say Stop that. putting that on everybody else, dude. People are responding to you. People are responding to you. People are responding to you because both of you keep cutting your phones on and your computers doing cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. And that's what <laughs> you guys are doing. Yeah. What kind of an idiot who's homeless turns out a house? And that's a direct response to you saying that the people that are coming they out are. of Shani have issues mentally. That is a direct response. And I'm going to make sure I say that in the event that I end up in court with you or something like that. Because <laughs> I know you, man. I know you. You think I'm stupid, but I know you. So the bottom line is you want to get on here and say that, that, that people who are watching you has got mental illnesses and, they're, and that they're obsessive and they, they got addiction. To... I ain't got no addiction to Shani. Shani's boring. I can tell you what she's going to say when she makes the next video. I'm going to play my video yeah. games. If it ain't that, she's going to get on here talking about something. And that's what I'm saying forever, uh, fetus. That you know, when you get the diagnosis, then that then that's different. You know, you got a diagnosis by a medical professional. But something like what Shani does is she's just, you know, anything she hears. Well, that's what I am. I mean, even uh, uh, there's this guy, uh, uh, Irie Bear, and uh, he said he had MS, and then all of a sudden that uh, she says she had MS. You know, it's just anything anyone else has. I said I had cancer, the skin cancer, and now she said now she's claiming she has skin cancer. You know, it's just it's just horrible. But she never says she has type two diabetes, which I would believe that is definitely the diabetes and the, definitely the type she would get. <laughs> so, life sucks. My body hurts. PMS, and if it ain't that, hey, pizza. Ty, what's up? I dream of pizza. I dream, <laughs> I of, dream of pizza. <laughs> I dream of anything that I don't have to get off my fat lazy behind and actually go out there and work and get. It's true. Foul fibromyalgia, uh, borderline personality disorder, arthritis. No, you're number one Twinkies. <laughs> you're number one Twinkies. <laughs> but again, I'll, and I'll always keep saying this just so people know, like, you know, my, uh, my opinion of G-Man is kind of all over the place. You know, we mean him are able to have a civil conversation and i think that's great 
um you know i do my own thing here so i could talk to basically whoever i want to there's nobody i have to worry about but it always is gonna bother me that he didn't jump a little higher jump a little quicker when he heard the stuff you know i mean because i would hear i would see people in the chat even myself i have old videos of me talking to g-man and i said what do you have to say about the pee in the beds he kicked me <laughs> and that's why i screamed it at him because i i i tried to i tried to wake him up by screaming at him and saying piss on the floor you know, sh you know shit on the walls piss in the beds g-man because I needed to try to shake him out of it. I mean, eventually, whether because he couldn't afford to pay for them anymore or she wouldn't take that or wouldn't take half, whatever. I think it's all it's all dumb. But yeah, personally, I wish he would have came to this realization realization last year. Your number one, your number one uh, problem, Shani, is that you are straight up lazy. You know what? Instead of calling you Shady for Christ, I think if you ever go back to that, I'm gonna call you lazy for Christ. You're lazy for Christ because you're lazy. You're lazy. Think about how many hours there is in a day, Shady. Think about it. Think about how many hours in a day there is. Think about it. You literally do nothing for 12 hours straight. To play yeah, uh, Azrael, I thought, and my family told me it was vitiligo at a young age. I didn't really know what vitiligo was. It wasn't until like, uh, until like early 30s i found out it was ctcl which stands for cutaneous t-cell lymphoma which is a non-hodgkin's lymphoma play video games and gossip and whine and cry about people that don't know you personally you know what i mean this is and, and your according to you. yep <laughs> and just do it your full 12 hours a day well, not one of those 12 to 24 hours do you actually think about going outside driving downtown picking up lazy for lice or shanny for lice <laughs> Picking up the pen and actually writing down your name and your information so that you can get assistance. And then both you keep lying about being married. I think it only costs about a hundred and what was it about two hundred fifty dollars for you to go to the city and actually officially get married. Why don't you, if you're shady, shady, how about this? How about you stop lying about being married? Whoa, two hundred fifty dollars. Yo, there's places where. I mean, you don't need to go to Vegas and get like uh, you know married by Elvis. <laughs> there's there's town halls you can get married for like 25, 30 bucks. All you need is like a uh, witness. Rev, you stop lying about being married and you sell this is something that you got for two hundred dollars. Don't buy no Delta Eight and actually go marry a woman because when you stand in front of Jesus Christ, he ain't gonna say that's your wife. I got bad news for you, dude. Jesus don't agree with you that that's your wife. Yeah, I mean, and. Uh, I'm I'm kind of leaning toward that way too, Penny. You know, I I would find it hard to believe that he could go back to them. But if he did, I'd, I'd be done with him. Maybe I talked to him, just or, you know, but I would just be making fun. He'd be another lol cow. <laughs> but he seems intelligent enough to not want to deal with any of this. I mean, he knew he didn't want Shani when Shani was throwing herself at him, whether he's saving himself or whatever. That's a whole other thing. But, uh, you know, he was smart enough not to, like, get involved with a uh, Shanny close-up. So I could see that he just doesn't want nothing to do with them anymore. I agree. He's going to have a totally different opinion about you. <laughs> or 75. Yeah, there you go, Talia. <laughs> He's going to tell you to depart. Yeah, 250 is a lot. I mean, you, 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 you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. That's what he's going to say to you. I'll be Dalton, their witness. <laughs> Those are demons. Those are not archangels. You are not the two witnesses. I can't believe you actually thought, Shane. And I say this every time I go live, that you thought I was going to be in the background and you was going to, you must be crazy. <laughs> I was going to be like him. You, you must be crazy. Everything that's happening to you, Shane, is biblical. You read the flesh. Now you're, I'm sorry, you sold the flesh. Now you're going to get back the flesh. You sold the flesh, you screw with people, you tease people, you belittle people, call them poor, laugh at yep. them, call them racial slurs. Now all of this garbage is coming back to you. That is biblical. You and Jason are living in a fairy tale world. Whoa, if you believe yeah, that Jesus on. Christ is on your side, he is not. I personally believe, and I am. Sorry, folks. I'm always uh, doing things behind the scenes. <laughs> 
that's why you know people don't know you know i try to re read the chat i try to do the videos think of jokes and this is kind of like on the fly so if, if it seems like it takes a second it's because it literally i am literally doing this on the fly so i think i all you 136 people watching right now on on the fly show <laughs> unscripted untethered uh please like and so but just check this out folks i look what i just found 50 $55 to get married in Scranton, PA. So 250 yeah. Okay, so lower that about, what, uh, $195, uh, and you have that. <laughs> or you have what it actually costs. So there you go. I'm not alone in this. Me, Vettel, and a lot of other people on here believe that God is using these people to cause you guys to turn your lives around and repent. But you ain't going to do it. JC can't even admit what you've done wrong. She ain't can't even admit what you've done wrong. That's where it starts. You have to admit that you've done wrong. Ooh, ooh. I hate keep I, I keep pausing it. But you know what? I also I'll I sort of I know this I'm probably gonna get hate for this, but I gotta be honest, not an honest guy here. I sort of agree with that. It's not that he's, God's using them to to repent and change, but sometimes it could be the opposite. It's talk through them just to show don't be like this, be better. And there's no way that this religion is, you know, allowing people to act like this to their children and all that. And it's true. Like, that's not what Christianity that I've ever seen would be all about. Otherwise, more, more, more unlikely they'd be shut down. Then you have to stop doing it and go in a different direction. But you're not going to do that, Shani. I think so. You want to know what the consequences are going to be? You're going to be hungry, Shani, because you refuse to do a little bit of work to buy some food. You're going to be cold, Shani. And you are going to be somebody's servant. You want to make fun of black people and call them the N-word and do all of that stuff? Well, guess what, Shani? Damn. This is your reality. The horny you dudes are out Rev's tonight. <laughs> house. That is not your house. It's not even his. It's not even Rev's. It belongs to Rev's uncle. And when he tells you to jump, it's how high. When he tells you to duck, it's how low. You are going to do, Shani, what you are told, whether you like it or not, because this is the life you have chosen. You screw with people, now they're going to screw with you. And I know you're watching, Shani. So you can get on here and play your video game, play make believe like you're not watching. <laughs> right? I personally think these people are nice to you verbally. Now I think some of the things that they've done to you was worse than anything that I would do. But 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 as far as verbal, no 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 no. I told people I told people years ago about that. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, G man. Did you uh did did uh, anybody threaten to shoot Shani or Rev? <laughs> just saying man you know we all have different opinions on what's bad and worse to other people and creators i'm telling you Shani. i'm telling you i'm telling you everything that you're getting right now my you opinion deserve. of course you deserve it you think you're superior to everybody because you're white you think you're superior to everybody because you um because you had a little bit of money in your account that you was getting every month you think you were superior to everybody because you was doing nice things doing nice things for people you thought you were superior There's nothing superior about you, Shannon. What Miss Star talking about here? Miss Star says, answer me something. Did she come on to you? Yes, she did. In this house on multiple occasions. She came on to me to too. You, you know what I mean? Let me show you. Everybody. sick, folks. What I'm talking about. I need to oh, wash out my that. eyes. They're not here, so. But <clears throat> she was laying. Ew. She was laying right there, OK? Zachary and West McCoy was coming over here, hugging me up, calling me daddy right here, telling me about Shoot. Jason and him kicking uh, uh, Zachary and all this other stuff and whatnot. And yeah. right there, I put something in her hand. She was flirting with me right in front of the man because he's stupid and clueless and don't understand what was going on. She wanted me to spend the <laughs> night here with her. She must be crazy. No, absolutely not. That woman's crazy. <laughs> I bet she wanted him to spend the night. Some of us care about what Jesus Christ had to say. Some of us actually care about that. I don't know how many times I had to fix this place because they came in here and then they just kept breaking things and breaking things and breaking things. I had to buy another stove. They broke that. They broke the refrigerator. They broke everything in here. What? The stove? Yo, she broke a stove, or not the stove. Uh, I mean, she dirtied it up real bad, but she broke the uh, the back part where, you know, where usually we put your groceries and stuff. That middle, the, you know, the island, they call it. The, the top piece. Um, and I think she broke something else in that house in Colorado. Man, they're, they're just, 
they just break stuff, you know, and they don't clean stuff. That refrigerator in, in Colorado was disgusting. There was mold growing in there, and I think some little trees. Yeah, I get a little passionate about this because I don't like how I got played and how I got used by the both of them. I don't like that. I defended these people and I took heat for them, and I'm not doing that no more. And it's gonna be a long time before that happens to me again. So let that be out there for anybody who plans on doing that to me. So Shani, cut it out. Cut it out. You owe life of the free spirit. You know what? You owe life of the free spirit. You owe me. You owe drag. You owe the You owe everybody on here. Me. You owe <laughs> everybody on here. You gotta explain yourself. Stop with this nonsense insulting my intelligence <laughs> and the intelligence of other people when you're saying like. that you haven't done nothing to nobody. Because that is a lie. That is a lie. From the pit of hell. Now, Rev, again, just like Shani, you're getting what you deserve. Do you want to know why? You will child choose to stay in a abusive relationship. That too. Uh, hold on a minute. I hope I ain't blocked nobody by accident. Uh, kill me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mr. Star said, her hubby, hubby said he was wrong. He was going to find me and kill me. Good luck with that one, uh, Mr. He, 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 right now, they, these guys are playing the victim card and they don't want to apologize to nobody for nothing. They don't want to apologize to nobody for nothing. No, I'm going to tell you what they did. This is how they broke, this is how they broke it. You're going to love this. Hold on a minute. Oh, great. So, this is the stove I had to buy right here, right? It was a stainless steel stove in the beginning of life. You saw that. Oh, electric. I'm not a fan of the electric. I, uh, gas all the way, even when you have no power, you know? You just light a match, there it goes. When I did the first house, then go whatever. They opened the cabinet and then something fell and they broke the um the, the glass on this. Of course they did. Then when I was gonna get that fixed, I couldn't even open and close the door because they broke the um the the, the um the door on this. <laughs> on the stainless steel one that was here. What? He'll blame yeah. the kids, I'm sure. He'll blame Shan the kids. Shani's an animal. Blame the kids. She's an I animal. I almost had to buy another refrigerator, but because I have a little bit of experience, I actually fixed it myself. Um uh -oh. then it was the wall and then it was a couple of doors that I had to replace that he broke. It's, it's, it's like they didn't care. And, I, and like, like I said, I believe what they were trying to do is frustrate me into giving them back the house. <laughs> and, and that sounds like something that Shani was saying. That sounds like yeah. something that Shani would plan. Because Shani doesn't think several moves ahead. She thinks she's so smart, you know, because she got that IQ that's better than presidents and all those other mess and whatnot. You know what I mean? So. No, she thinks like, like one move ahead. Like literally, she thinks to, about tomorrow. She thinks she's so smart. But I was getting frustrated. I was going to throw them out, not give them back the house. That's what was going to happen. <laughs> they couldn't rake the leaves, they couldn't sweep the floor, they couldn't mop, they couldn't wipe the table down. This table that I'm on right now had cat pee all over it. This one right here, I don't know how many times I have to Ew, wipe this hey thing Hey, the drink. It's disgusting, absolutely disgusting. But anyway, I'm, I'm on here a lot longer than I originally wanted to. I just wanted to let people know, do not believe Shani when Shani says she hasn't done nothing to nobody. Let, let me tell you something, let me tell you something, okay? Shani has a habit of disagreeing with people. Yes. And then when Shani disagrees with people, she will do it in a way that will offend other people. And then other people, because you're on social media, are going to naturally respond to you. Okay, so when they're responding to something that you already said, you can't say they're harassing you. And then she'll like go to people and be like, yo, you, you have to like this something about them. Because they're like so horrible. And like, they were like saying something about calling me an abuser of children. Like, come on. Like, if I give you like 50 bucks, can you like go like harass them for a couple weeks? Oh, really? Oh, cool. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm the victim, but you should totally do that. But I I'm going to pay you for it. I mean, I don't know. Usually people, if, if it's true, like, They'll help somebody out in the out of, out of the kindness of their heart. But you know what? I I think you shouldn't let anyone else get involved in your own personal dramas because then that makes other dramas. And then later on, people are like, "Why are we all fighting?" Oh, because of that idiot. <laughs> you can't say you didn't do anything. They're responding to what you said. Now, there's a difference if somebody's stalking you or following you around and you haven't done nothing at all. Shandy, that's not your story. You have done something. You have used racial slurs. You have attempted to destroy lives on here, and you are presently destroying. Jason, he's just too stupid or poutine pie wet to understand that. <laughs> poutine pie wet. I always make this joke with him. Shani's a man of the house. Red is the female. That's yeah. what Red is. He's Red Revelina. does what he's told or he gets beat up. Period. Red does what he's told or he gets beat up. 
And Jason, you can say that I'm lying all you want. All I ask for you is a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Everybody's gonna know you're lying when I question you. Live. That's all I want, dude. A one-on-one -on -one conversation. I bet you I catch you in many of them. Because you know, that camera was, 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 was recording a lot of things in here, dude. Oh, okay? shit. You got my 4K. And then I to hear, to hear you guys argue, although <laughs> she never put her hands in front of you, on you while I was physically in, 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 like, in the house or whatever. Because um, she would have did that. I told her I would throw her out. Especially if she disrespected me and did it right in I, front of I me. I would hope so. Oh, and I said, you love her. The only reason you made that video is because she told you to make that video. Or she guilted you into making that video. And let me tell you how well I know Shandy, um, Jason. Let me tell you how well I know him. How well, how well I know her and what she did with you. She, yeah. She's laying down saying, you don't love me. <laughs> that fake crying, no tears coming out of her eye. Doing all of that whining and crying. Jason, you should go rewatch that stream. Watch how fast she go from crying to being normal. Listen to me, Jason. Fix do that. It's not that easy to come out of crying. You like that? To being normal. You like Just, that, yeah. you fat fucking... Crash Kudurku donated $2 Whee! through Super Chat. Red like heart, that? red heart. Good night, like everyone. Ill catch the replay. Hard heart. Oh, good night, Crash. Uh, thank you for being here. Yeah, probably another like ten fifteen, and then I'm uh, gonna be calling for tonight. But thank you for uh, for hanging out, bro. Yes, number one. I still remember that is. I almost forgot. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, that's 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 your number. He's the number one guy. Uh, have a good uh, have a good night, man, and be careful on them on them crazy tr uh, highways, you know. Those cra crazy trucking streets. <laughs> Just go watch the video. Go watch the video. You won't because you're afraid. You want to know why? Because you need to believe this woman actually cares about you. She don't care about you. I would go so far to say that she hates Facts. you. She resents you because, because of the way she's living right now. It's because of you, dude, because you're the man in the house. You're not providing anything. You're not going out to killing the deer, bringing home metaphorically, metaphorically, and having her cook it so she can have food to eat. You're not doing that. You're not bringing home the bacon, dude. You're not doing it. It's your no, she and he is. <laughs> she can act as feminist as she wants. She expects you to bring home the bacon. And if you're not doing it, then she's going to claim she's doing everything herself. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, by the way, Jason, I know she's lying when she says that. Because I know you run the errands. Everybody knows you run the errands. You wipe her butt Watch when she it. goes to the bathroom. Ew. You bathe her. Ew. You take, you're, her, you're a housekeeper. But you're so, you're so lazy, you won't even apply. To the nursing, I forget what it's called, but you will literally be getting. We are lucky five, too, A lot of you don't know this, but Jason would be getting five hundred dollars a week before taxes if all if he became Shandy uh, caretaker. He's too lazy to do that. That's why I'm done with him. I, I believe him being hungry because he refuses to work is biblical. Shandy being hungry because he refuses to work is biblical. Yeah. Them being thirsty because they don't want to work is biblical. And God is giving them grace. But I'm going to tell you something. God, let me tell you something about the God I serve. God will let you be hungry to get a point across. Well, like, I hope that Rev and Shani aren't, claim, aren't trying to do, like, claim uh, squatters' rights. Because that would be really shitty for the uncle. Because, you know, the uncle didn't want anything to do with that. God will let you be hungry to get a point across. Shani got this God is love. God is love. God, God is a <laughs> lot of things. And he ain't just love. If you just say he's love, he's an idol. Man. He's also a God of wrath. He's a just God. God doesn't lie. He tells the truth. And he said in his word that if you if you sow the flesh, you're going to reap the flesh. If I go out there and I do something that is not of God and it is in the flesh, I'm going to reap the flesh. But if I go out there and do something for God in the spirit, then I'm going to reap the spirit according to the scriptures. So that's a, a slight defense for Carrie. Carrie, you don't need to fill the right. help he needs. You see, uh, G-Man has... It. G-Man has, has a habit of just going on and on and on. <laughs> Selfish prick. And all you care about is yourself, Shani. Yes, you I agree You always with that. only cared about yourself. You never cared about that man. Only the money that he had. How many times have we caught you saying, Shani, uh, 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 in those videos saying that your money, how much money of your money you get, your money. None of that money was ever yours. You're not married to the man. No. You deserve everything you're getting, Shani, and enjoy your new life as a beggar. And by the way, Shani, that is not a sign of somebody being blessed. That is a sign of somebody being cursed. If you guys want to do something interesting, go look at Deuteronomy chapter 28 and go read from verse 1 to verse 15, 14 to 15. It lists all of the curses that will happen to a person that was living in Israel at the time for not keeping those laws. And I talk about the Hebrews like this a lot. Go read those curses. All of those apply to Shani because she
Well, you know, I'm sure what happened to those kids uh, and how she treated people and Rev and, and herself and her family and, and everyone else and random strangers, I'm sure that doesn't help, you know. I definitely believe in karma out there, you know. You can't do these things without it coming back. You have to have a, there's balance, you know, yin-yang in life, as, you know, as they say. Kenny is in sin, and so is Jason. Both of them are in sin. Neither one of them are doing, um, why did you move there? What? Why did I move here the first time, uh, uh, Miss Star? I didn't know these two were like this. And I'm gonna tell you the guys on the show. If I would've known Shani was like this, what was it, five, six years ago, when this place was offered to me, I would've said, nope. I would've been like, nope. I didn't know they were like this. Or I at least would've made her, um, Give me everything in writing, and I mean everything in writing. I guess he thought that this was all performance art. <laughs> no, I'm not going over there. Um, um, if I need to go over there for something, if the uncle ever calls me and wants to know information about Shani or Rev, he has my phone number. I have his phone number, and he has mine. He can call me whenever he wants. I got no problem talking to him. But those two got to actually do something to warrant me going over there. Like, Rev's got to come on camera with a bloody nose and a black eye or something like that. You know what I mean? And then I can go over there and I have... He's already had a black eye. But I can't go over there because I disagree with their relationship. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it is archived. <laughs> it is archived. And I've been catching up a lot. Catching up on a lot of the things that they were saying when they went bold to Colorado. Uh, 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 Shani, if you're watching me for the first time, you never heard me talk about her and you're wondering why I'm talking about this, talking about her like this. Shani is a con artist. She tricked me into believing that if I gave her some help, that she was going to go work. Ironically, the same thing that her mother said. Ironically, the same thing yeah. her father said. Ironically enough, that what Chris said, and pretty soon, what Jason says, because trust you me, at some point, his eyes are going to get open, and he's going to leave. When he gets the courage, because he has to get beaten up in order to leave. He has to not care about getting beat up. No, mister, I tossed you under the bus because I believe Shani over you. That's what it was. Oh, really? So She's so really good at manipulation. Y'all just don't know. She's really good at it. Oh, yeah. 14K? Yeah. <laughs> They wouldn't be able to uh, to hold on to that. And, well, maybe that's why Rev has all those. He has savings, but uh, G-Man says he has savings bonds. So who knows if that's true. And if he does, he, all he has to do is go to any bank and cash them in. Yeah, and that's why I apologize to everybody for the shanty stuff. I apologize to everybody. So and rightly so. <laughs> now I support all of you going after shanty. Every last one of you. Of course. Because I'm going to tell you something. When... When you, when you don't know that you're being conned and you don't know that you're being used, when you finally wake up and realize that you've been used, all you want to do now is just to go out there and let people know that this woman, this woman is just evil. She's evil. And it helps and the views too, right? She's getting. And subs. <laughs> I don't, you know, that's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up. I appreciate people respecting me and not giving any super chats today because I don't want her saying, she ain't giving an extra money. I don't want to hear that garbage. Shani, listen to me real good here. Stop getting on here representing Christ because you do not do it. You represent you. You okay. never cared about Christ and you never will. Because the day you do care about Christ, Rev will be in therapy or he'll be at the hospital somewhere. And actually, you'll get a job and so will he. And then both of you will own all of the garbage that you guys have done to people over the years. Well, that was that was the thing. <laughs> okay, folks. Uh, final thoughts on that. Well... You know, uh, Rev and Shane are gonna be like this, and uh, I'm here for it. You know, like I've been saying, you know, whatever happens, I'm, I'm going to report it and try to be as funny about it as possible. <laughs> you know, um, but you know, we have to see uh, if Shane eats Rev next. You know, <laughs> Shane, stay away from Rev. He, he's he's not ready yet. Stop tenderizing him. <laughs> But uh, on the way out, um, since you guys did say something about Revelina, I can't play a Revelina video. <laughs> so that's it. Um, like the stream, uh, subscribe if you're not, consider becoming a member. And if you made it this long, put one in the chat and uh, not one in chat. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, 69, because <laughs> the one means uh, for crash. Uh, just let me know that you uh, got this far for, for the replay gang. And that's it. Thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, this is, this is sort of like a new character thing I'm getting into, sort of. And, uh, you know. I don't know. I look like that maybe they hook around a street corner. I don't know, G-Man. Come and save me, G-Man.